today I'm going to show you how to use a symmetry to reduce the size and solution time for models in 3D. I'm going to use an example of a solenoid with an oval plunger as you're seeing on the screen here and I'm uh, showing the full solenoid with one quarter of it shown in a wireframe view and in fact the part that's shown in wireframe is the geometry that we'll use for our symmetric model. So the first thing to remember when you're using symmetry or anti-symmetry is that the geometry must have positive coordinates. It must be on the positive half side of the space created by the symmetry cutting plane. Now in order to decide whether you have symmetry or anti-symmetry always consider the currents or in the case of permanent magnets equivalent currents. So I have another model in which I'm just showing the currents and here you can see the coil currents for the solenoid and also the z equals zero and x equals zero cutting planes. Now to decide what kind of symmetry you have let's just change our view. So now you can see from the top we're looking down and we can see the x and z cutting planes. So across x equals zero the x equals zero cutting plane is here. You notice on this side the currents on this elbow are in the positive direction and then they're in the negative direction on the other side. So that's clearly anti-symmetry. And similarly if we consider the z equals zero cutting plane, well above the cutting plane they're heading in the negative direction and below they're heading the positive direction. So in both cases you have anti-symmetry. The only time you would have an actual positive symmetry condition would be if you were cutting the coil using the y equals zero plane and we don't have that because of the other geometry of the solenoid. So now that we know what type of symmetry we have we can reduce our model and you may build this model uh, so that there's only one quarter of it. If you're importing from a CAD file, you can use the geometry intersection and cut geometry with plane to reduce the size of your model. So to set up the symmetry conditions, we go to physics, symmetry and periodicity. We choose symmetric boundary and as we've decided it's going to be anti-symmetric across the x equals zero plane and anti-symmetric across the z equals zero plane. We can't do anything with y equals zero because of the other geometry in the model. And once we've set that up, you'll notice that any surfaces that are exactly coincident with the cutting planes, those will be assigned the symmetric boundary conditions. And to see that your model's been set up properly, once you've created the mesh, you'll notice those surfaces that were in yellow that lie within the symmetry planes, those don't require any elements. Uh, those uh, surfaces only exist to truncate the model and they don't require any meshing. So if you can uh, take advantage of symmetry in your models, in this case this model solves in only one-sixth the time of a full model. So there's a significant advantage in the solution time and also in calculating post-processing.